All right, so in this video, I'm just going to be demonstrating how you can use a chatbot to further improve your business and to qualify uh, leads that come into your system. I know I work with a lot of companies that work really hard to get a lot of leads, um, but sometimes sales reps uh, don't get them get to them on time or for whatever reason, they might have received leads out of hours. And for this video, I'm going to be showing you how we're using a custom server to integrate with ChatGPT. Obviously, we've all spoken with ChatGPT before and we've had chats with ChatGPT, for example. But sometimes what you want to do is you want to integrate to the power of ChatGPT, not within ChatGPT itself, but maybe you want to actually integrate this into a CRM, for example. This is exactly what I've done here. I've done this with many other CRMs uh, in the past. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not actually going to show you how it would look like inside a CRM, but I can do if you request it. I can show you an example of one CRM that I might have integrated this into. But so long as you have the relevant API, <clears throat> you can basically interact integrate chat gpts or sorry open it uh, open ai with anything so anything you see with chat gpt you can then integrate into your own crm we have currently built out our own sort of uh, custom server over here using a software called replet but i know of course you can use other low code solutions such as zapier or make to integrate chat gpt into a crm of your choice if you want to know if your crm is able to integrate uh, with either solution drop me a message and i can you know walk you through whether it's possible for your situation uh, without further ado i'm going to jump straight on into the demo so i've just got this out over here so this i've made this for a, a imaginary property investment company, for example. So I know I've worked with property investment companies in the past. They receive hundreds of leads on a daily basis. And sometimes you want to qualify the leads before they get to sales reps. So that sales reps actually have an understanding of which leads are qualified, which ones are good and which ones are bad without actually having to waste time asking the same basic questions over and over again. And the advantage of using a language model like ChatGPT or OpenAI is that you can use much more natural conversations rather than very obvious hit one if you're this, hit two if you're this, for example. So that for I'm just gonna jump in over here, whatever your contact first name might be, which is made up of a property investment company name. We're now just going to confirm that these are the correct details. So we're just gonna hit yes over here. And we can ask, I need to ask a couple of questions to get started. I interested in property investment. So bear in mind that of course I'm doing this for property investment, but this really can apply for almost any other company. I've done this for legal practices and you can do this for uh, pretty much any service under the sun. If you have a default process in which you operate with customers or prospects, then rest assured you can use a chatbot similar to this and you can configure it any way you like just by adjusting the prompts. So we're going to say the property. Do you have any private investment? I'm going to say no over here, but of course we'll see what happens if you say yes. I'm going to introduce the complexity of property investment. What is your approximate investment budget? So if I just say around 50K, So over here, we've been qualified to say that, that this person qualifies, and then we can ask if we want to have a, have a, have a call to book and uh, see if there are any other further investment options. Sounds good. What times? That sounds good, for example. And you can ask what times are available, for example. No, not for now. Now that's one typical scenario. However, if we refresh this page and uh, we go for a different sort of prompt, we can go over here and say, if people are just not interested, right? So sometimes people opt into things and they don't even know that they're interested. Um, we can just say no. And this will automatically revert and say, okay, just, just leave this. And we can automatically tag an individual in this situation in any CRM of your choice to apply a certain label. And then that way you don't have to manually do this. The robot can take this uh, answer, understand it, and automatically make updates within your CRM without a human ever having to lay a finger on it. So another advantage is of course, you can just say things like, nah, you don't have to say no it automatically understands again. So that's what makes something like this really powerful. You don't have to have canned template responses that people are quite uh, used to. You can you know, go a lot further than that. So if, you, if we go for a different scenario where we say, yes, cool, not really, again. And then if I just say, depends how much, much I need. Cool. And if I say, and then it will you know, give you give people an understanding of what property investments or minimum investments are required. So if you have qualifying questions, for example, so say you run uh, some sort of dental practice, for example, and you want to make sure that people who are interested can actually afford veneers, for example, you can have it set up to uh, set qualifying questions, just make sure that people are actually genuinely interested in the first place. And then I'll just say yes. So you, know, you can you can make it, and of course we can add a certain question to say, if somebody asks about how much you need, we can tweak this as you wish. Uh, this is a very simple, simple example, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can train this and how you can tune this to actually meet your needs. If you need to qualify people in advance and uh, you can hopefully 
be able to see how it can save you a lot of time without having to ask same sort of questions over and over again. So if you have any questions about how this has been set up, let me know and I can help you out to see if this might be viable for your business.